Hello, I'm Fala again. Today we are going to be wiping the floors with aliens. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of XCOM Longer Impossible. Today we are going to take on a crashed destroyer. We are coming in for the first time with our new and uh, lovely armor, so this is gonna be, I hope, an awesome mission where we just wipe the floor with aliens and go home. Because, uh, yeah, we are sporting the new looks and I hope that the aliens appreciate it and drop them. And yeah, we are going we to China, which is going to work site. well for us to reduce the, the panic in the nation. We're heading into China for the next operation. The alien craft went down in flames. We've pinpointed its final resting place in a rural area with no significant civilian population. We need to secure that craft and eliminate any survivors. But our map is not going to be very favorable. Uh, first of all, it's saying heavy vegetation, so I came with dark green, and what do we got? Red desert. Well, that's XCOM, baby. And let's hope that's the only moment when I actually have to say that's XCOM, baby. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay, so we are not in a very favorable situation from the start. We can go either left or right. We have to eliminate enemy patrols before we go to fight the command pod, obviously, but there is uh, a very tough choice. Which way do we go? There is the, There are walls on both sides, where, so we can't really go to, towards the door. Well, I will have to send a battle scanner out. This is the edge of the map. So we can't proceed further than that. And same here. So we are basically in the dark corner of us. So let's go and conceal Wally. Okay, see. The life decided for me. What do we have? A Zerker, oh, the pack of four floaters as a support. So we would want to... Uh, destroy them all obviously but we can't so I need to set up and approach them how well my best bet would be to toss a rocket in there and maybe kill them let me see Come on, only how much does it can how much does it take evasion launch yeah yeah okay I am willing to take a risk and open up on them with a uh, rocket. Where is uh, Garrett? Oh, Garrett. I am going to do something you will definitely not approve of. I'm going to shoot them while standing in the open. Na, 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 na. No, but seriously, I, think, I don't think I have any choice. If I go towards the cover, then we are going to activate the floaters and berserker. But if I uh, just shoot a normal rocket on them, okay. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to shoot a shredder rocket so that it is more likely that Netmare is going to fuck him with the, in the zone and then we can take care of the berserker. So this is what we are going to do. I'm going to shoot and uh, deal pretty good damage. Good job, Garrett. Okay, some of them has, they have taken cover. We are prepared for that, of course. We are now going to... Grab the lovely beast that is Acro and uh, either... Okay, let me think. We have to kill as many of them as possible. Two of them are in cover, so we would go to collateral damage over here. In the zone would start from this guy, then this guy, and then this guy, that guy, those guys, okay. Alrighty then, but before we do anything, I'm going to call it. Okay, that is going to be a kill. Well, bloody hell, it's not easy being cheesy, you know. You know what I can do? I can chem grenade. Okay, while st also st yeah. I'm still standing in the open, so that's not a pr not the good, very good, but it's. Uh, the only way it's gonna be, okay? We are camming all three of those fuckers, in case we can't take them. Alrighty then. Now, we are going to... 
it's already shredded and camped, so we are going to start getting rid of the Berserker. But how do we do it? Well, I want to shoot with Nidmare and if I hit, I'm good for life. If I don't, we are fucked. Good job, Nidmare. You're the best. Okay. Now we will in the zone the guy who is floating in the back. Good job, Dithmara, you're the best. Okay, now we will want to get rid of the... Okay, those guys must go. How do we get rid of them? Well, I can use an HE grenade and I will still have the firepower to take care of the uh, Zerker, right? I hope. Oh, we actually killed them both. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now Maverick Allen is going to not double tap the Zerker yet because uh, Wall is going to holo target it for me first. <laughs> nice. Now Bavarian Barbarian has two shots, so might as well. Boop. It's still alive, so I will just finish it off. Never mind. And that's it for the first pod. And we can actually even reload and get in position. By the way, Netmare haven't even moved yet. Oh yeah. I'm on the move. Roger, got my eyes on. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for that Zerker. Our new armors are not even scraped. The only thing that we will have to do upon returning to base so far is clean them from all the blood. So I guess they will be repaired for a month now, eh? Okay, we can hear some tin mints, so we will continue our approach and I will be reconvening when I reach the fence. It's going to take me like take me like five turns, but I don't really expect anything happening. So I will cut out and I will talk to you in a moment. Because uh, file size is important for the upload speed. Be right back. Yosh. Recording again in three. Two, one. Okay, so I'm back much sooner than I anticipated. Looks like we have a pot of uh, three, 16 wins coming up. So we gotta get uh, some overwatches happening. And uh, that's the end of the news. So yeah, Tiny is not gonna stand here. And we are going to get overwatching. Because, uh, you know, we want to be ready. And if they don't come to meet us, we will uh, definitely come and attack them, but it looks like they're coming. Alrighty then. No, we don't have it. We don't have it. But they seem to be setting themselves up for a major cover destruction. Which is going to be provided to them by Garrett. Because uh, Garrett doesn't like cover. Cover is something that must be destroyed. And then we are going to go and in the zone kill them all. Like so. Now we have one guy that is uh, probably too healthy for his own good. So we will want to get him deaded with Ak Akrok and do it. He's going to come and he's going to do all he can to destroy, she can, to destroy this guy. Not good enough. Targeting system readjusting. Well, that happens every now and again. We are going to run and gun and try to get it with a shotgun so we don't have to move far. I am actually going to even holo target in advance. Because we need this shot to hit. 
That wind has to take at least some damage before we start kicking us. Very good. So now it's all in Edmar's hands. So let's go. This guy has most health. Let us kill him. One. Now, who's the next on the list? You are. Two. Next. That will be you. Very good. Now we can kill the sectoid, but we can also try and capture it. No, we can't. By all means, we cannot. So we are going to hide the tiny over here so that nobody can see her. Oh, you see her, you fucker. Well, let's make you dead then. You see, in tiny life, you must die. Suck on this. See how simple it is? Come on, Commander. Come on, Maverick. Delete it. Got him. Next. Alright, next is going to be easier said than done, well, obviously. Because now we can't really take care of this fucker, so I'm going to shoot the sectoid. Bye bye. Need a resupply. Let's rock. And now we can't really deal all that much damage to this fucker. I can't really think of a way. So I will cover our essentials with smoke. And Zurier is too far away to be hit, so we don't have to worry about it. And then we will utilize our last in the zone shot to do this one damage, whatever. Four damage, nice. I bet those enemies didn't see that coming. It's running away. And it has a friend coming to fight. Oh shit. You little twat. And I didn't even take a medic for this mission. And what are what? What the hell? Where did that floater come from? And another one? Are you having a giggle, mate? What a shoddy cunt! And that's the one mission I didn't take the medkit for. Because I figured, nah, what's the worst that could happen, right? Come on, Mara, show them what's the worst that could happen. See you in hell. Okay, this guy's in cover, so let's not attack him yet. Well, that's uh, very uncool of you. Very uncool of you, game. Aye, aye, Commander. But I guess it is kind of my own fault because I assumed that uh, I am safe. Bad idea. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, since we are in the open, might as well. I don't like it to one bit, but uh, at least we got a cap. Now, we can't really get anything nice for ourselves anymore. I guess such is life. Subduing target. Damn it. Permission to use a real gun, sir. Yeah, you don't have my permission to use a real gun. But Acro does. Weapons are dry, no longer a threat. Good sweet. Alright, I believe Bavarian can finish the job right now. 
And that takes good baby. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not going to do it like this. I'm going to give Bavarian another chance. I believe that's Bavarian. Yep. What the shit? I would be so pissed if that would uh, end up in a kill. Or a hit even. Out. Well, we can't get this done that uh, any way, normal way, so I'm going to use a flamethrower so that Flame we may engaged. take another team mid captive. It's panicking even. Nice. That's affirmative. Come on, tiny. Make it rain captives. Light em up. Well, we don't have to worry about it. Done. Watch it. So, yeah, this operation is definitely not going so well for us, especially not for Zuriel, who has been basically shot by two floaters, I had uh, no way of knowing are even there, they either were a part of the first pod or they were just, you know, assholes. Possibly both. So that caused my simple operation that doesn't require medkits to you know, come back and bite me in the ass. Which happens, I guess. Ready to I'm run. not going to shoot the team mid because Heading I want now. it alive. Because that's what you get. When you shoot my people, you are going to be taken alive and then you are going to be tortured or sold like a slave. Okay, it's still panicking. No problem. Why did I not take a medkit? Damn it. Oh, there is a problem. It's regenerating. Well, fuck you then. No regeneration on my watch. Uh, yeah, we can actually see it to shoot it, but we can't see it to arc throw it. So, yep. That's a piece, sir. Real gun, sir. We are going to use that time to that reload. Good to go. And that overwatch is just in Ready case it suddenly got into uh, some silly oh, ideas of stopping the panic. Now all is gonna go and pick up the melt. Visual on the goods. Yeah, yeah, I know. Damn it, I fucked it up with those medkits and uh, I really should have li uh, leave some sort of defense on the side, but I was sure that I eliminated the whole first pod since I counted all them all and uh, they were in order. There was just two more of them on the other side of the map or something. I guess I deserved it. Now the shoddy count is regenerating. Not anymore. Tiny has no more arc throwers, but the Zuriel does. Yes, we got it. Took a while. So yeah, now we are going to go for the outsiders uh, with the one final uh, push. That's gonna be cool, I guess. We only have to get there. Got it. And here's the melt. So next on, we are going to go, we are going to go to where the, uh, get to where Wally is right now. Wally's gonna go for the meld and we will see you again in a moment. Okay, so we managed to get to the cockpit where the outsiders are hiding, thanks to Wally's concealment. It was a very fast run, we managed to get all the meld except for one bastard who hid on the rooftop. Because that's a real meld fucker. And we are going to open the door. Wherever the outsiders are going to run, we are going to fuck them up with rockets, then uh, finish them off with AP grenades and then kill whatever else is left with some other useful things that we have in our stores. For example, this is the 
rocket itself it should this it should absolutely destroy all the cover With pleasure boom now it's time for acro to show them what it, uh, it uh, acro is made of acro is made of flames because everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Initiating flamethrower assault. Come on, guys. Panic like bitches. They refuse. Oh. That's unforgivable. So, you know, in the zone, because they hit somewhere where in the zone can't reach them, but uh, that doesn't make them any less dead. Come on, Bavarian. Don't fail me. Very good. Come on, fail me not. Scheisse. That's not, uh, that's not exactly what I was expecting to happen. Okay, so Tiny's gonna do the AP dance. But without hitting the mech, thank you very much. Now we got the in the zone. I mean the double tap. One is down. One to go. Okay, so we have two surviving aliens. And two shooters. Okay, so where do we move Wally so that Wally can fire? I'm going to be guessing uh, here. 100%. That's what you get, bitch. And now in the zone actually proct. Huh, so I can move and use in the zone. That's very good to know, but Position it is abso uh, ultimately useless right now because Wally is going to finish the job. And the outsiders are done. Completed. And it would be a near perfect operation if not for those two surprise floaters who just, uh, you know, came out of nowhere and then surprise butt sexed uh, Zuriel, which is. Oh, I guess uh, pretty bad and Zuriel would have died if not for our new armors, but uh, the, as it is, the, the armor is probably gonna get broken and Zuriel is gonna be out for a long time. Sorry for that, I did not anticipate for that happening. Which is uh, what the surprise basically is all about. Because, you know... So, I guess see you next month, Zuriel. You've done well for the moment that you've been here. And we got two carbines, some captives, 40 meld, that's pretty good, some alloys, all is well. We've broke, have broken absolutely fucking everything, including the mech? Why was the mech broken? What broke the mech? So, uh, I still don't know what broke the fucking mech. Okay. But hey, at least we can start going. And the plan for this month is pretty simple. We are going to be fast building uh, satellite uplink, fast building three satellites. Then we are going to launch uh, four satellites in Europe so that we can retake three alien bases this month and hit them where it fucking hurts. And then we would be having the coverage of almost the whole planet except for Argentina and Brazil, but you know. I'm sorry, but fuck you, fuck Argentina and Brazil. We are going to build a satellite uh, Nexus at some point and then take them. But yeah, this means we are going to have to uh, make some adjustments, first of all. I am going to be selling all my alien carbines, because alien carbines are easy to come by. I am going to be selling all my alien rifles. I only need like 30, so there is no problem with that. And that gives me... Now, uh, now bear with me, I know this is crazy. Okay, we have 60 engineers, build quickly. It's gonna cost us uh, 20 meld, we have 100, okay? Begin. Now, we need to build 3 satellites. We are going to pay 246 for one. So I can start working on two. 
Not enough uplinks. Yeah, I know. Fuck uplinks. Okay. Boom. We need another 500 cash so that we can build a, a, a additional two. If I do it correctly, we are going to basically regain everything we have lost just on that one mission. I mean, four bases. I mean, come on, four alien bases is gonna set up us set us up forever. But it is uh, going to require some more sacrifice from me. I know I've been working very hard to get those uh, plasma weapons. And I know I need those mutant corpses for ammo conservations, but there is going to be shitload of mutants in the alien bases. And I need 500 cash ASAP. So this is not gonna be very happy exchange but uh, a necessary one alien heavy weapon <laughs> fuck okay alien pistol bye bye we have one satellite one more uh, sectoid commander corpses I will, will face if the I will have the them all in the alien base floater corpse yeah I need them but fuck it Heavy floater corpse, there is gonna be plenty more. Tap, 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 tap. Almost there. I don't want to sell corpses. But I have to. 511. And... Uh, oh yeah, we also have to build the power fist. <laughs> I can't build the power fist right now. Anyway. Boom. And now, in 11 days, satellite uplink is operational. Four satellites are gonna be operation in 9 days. Which means in 14 days, we are going to be attacking three alien bases in a row. ka -ting! Or, you know what I mean, right? Do I have any requests I can take on? Artifact sales meld for engineers? Uh, no. <laughs> not, not a chance. Is my hunger all operational? Uh, Asian hunger is not, so I hope I won't be attacked in a few days. I need two days to get, be back online. Africa is well. North America can survive for a while. Okay, scan. Contact detected. No! Satellite in China is going down. Can't help it. 13 hours. So, you know what, guys? I am going to absolutely be right back. I'm going to wait here for th those 13 hours game time and shoot that fucker down. So, be right back. Okay, so unfortunately, we were two hours short to save India. I mean, China's satellite. So, we were going to have to build additional satellite this month to keep everything up and running. We have time until the end of November with that, so no problem. We have one day till ghost weapons and the aliens are attacking Quebec City. With the terror attack, so this is going to be our next mission. I guess this means that for, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, if so let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook, Twitter and so on and so forth, and see you again next time. Bye bye.